Hey YouTube, it's me, Buddy. Hope you're all doing great. Welcome to another weekly Keeping Topicals. Today we're going to be answering a couple of questions from you guys, but before we get started, I just want to quickly tell you something that I don't want you guys to miss out on. So right now at cubetopia.com.au, they're having a special, and what they're doing is giving free shipping to any orders within Australia that are over $30, which is pretty good in my opinion. But this offer only lasts until midnight on Sunday, which is really soon. So if you want to grab some cubes or you're thinking of getting something, then I'll put a link in the description to this store, and also make sure to use the discount code SPOT to receive 5% off. Also, they do now have international shipping, but this offer is only for within Australia. With that said, let's get into the first question. The first question comes in from, well, a lot of people, because a couple of people have been asking me what I record with, audio and video, and also what I edit with. So, from when I first started this YouTube channel, I said that I recorded with my iPhone 5C, and I still do that. I record my audio on the Voice Memos app, which is built in, and video on my phone as well. And to all you guys who are recording on your phone, I have one quick tip for you, and that is to get an external app to record all your video. And the reason for that is the built-in app, the camera app, doesn't allow for much control over whatever you're filming. So if you get an external app, you can do things like video in 60 frames per second, which I thought you couldn't, because normally you video in 30 frames per second, still in 1080p though. And also you can control things like ISO, shutter speed, focus and if you're wanting to step up your game a little bit then maybe downloading an app is the way to go. What I use is this free app called Shotlight, Shotlight I think. What it does is just allows you to control things yourself. It also has automatic features but you can control stuff manually if you would like and it's also free so if if you have an iPhone, I'm not sure if it's for Android but it's definitely for iPhone and it's a free app lets you control things manually. On to the next question. Do you think cubing is going to go out of fashion like in the 90s? And that question comes from Universal Force. Go out of fashion as in die down as a hobby for lots of people? I don't think so because I think the amount of people who are getting into the hobby is a lot more than the people who are sort of losing interest. And the reason I say that is because competitions are getting bigger, just people are more well known about it. And also the Rubik's Cube is such a well known puzzle that I don't think it'll ever just die out. But I don't know, if you think something else then I would be happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below. And the last question that I'm going to answer today comes from Cubalicious and he asks, am I allowed to submit a topic for weekly cubing topicals? And the answer to that is yes, please. If you have any topics or anything that I could talk about, maybe some questions, then leave them down in the comment section below because they really help me just find new topics for new videos. Anyway, that's all we've got time for. If you did like this video, feel free to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future content. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.